it's, uh, it's a great pleasure being here on behalf of our UNRMT, uh, supporting people's charge. We've had some 30 years now of attacks on working people. They, in fact, we left in general. We're in a worse position than where we were some 30 years ago. We've got a situation where people are saying, well, there's not a loop that's going inside the time to change. We've got, oh, we've got to be stuck with labour all the time. And therefore, there's no reason to change anything. Well, the reality is, I would say to those people that believe that labour is our only opportunity for change, is that it is true that there's not a mass workers' party at the moment in time for workers to go into or challenge the Tories. But what they're doing is that they're leapfrogging labour, not into a workers' party, but into the DNP. That's where they're going. And the reality is, now they're embarking at the next general election. Parliament, we understand, is going to be closed on March the 16th, and there's going to be a long election campaign. Is that Danny Barkin, we've got the opportunity to either vote for the Tories, vote for Hodge, or woman, can I say, who has constantly attacked working people when they're on strike, attacks us uh, over privatisation on the underground and the railways, condemns us to go on strike uh, in the tube workers' strike. So, to book someone like that, or the reason why Griffin's standing there now, that he knows that he's getting grassroots support from working people down here. What we can't do is turn around and say that all the people down in Barking are racist uh, and condemn them. Why have we got into a situation down in Barking, one of Schlaber's strongest ever since? You could wave a vote down in Barking. I tell you my personal reason for why it's gone down there is that the biggest manufacturing operation in Britain, Falls, that is the biggest plant in Barking. Yeah. And now in Barking, either you worked in Falls, or your relatives worked in Falls, or your friends worked in Falls. That's disappeared completely down there. The docks are closed, and working people see now no alternative whatsoever. Hence comes the BNP and say, we're going to solve all this problem there, because the Tories can't help you, Labour can't help you, and we're going to put a programme in front of you. On that question time that Griffin was on, Billy A said to me, you know, one thing I'm really worried about tonight, if anyone from the, from the uh, floor asks a question, do you support the postal workers, right? There'll only be one person supporting it, and that'll be good. That's the reality of the Because they're populist people, nationalists, socialists, these people. They go along, go to their website, site, they support the renationalisation of the railways. After all of these 30 years of attacks that have taken place on us, what we're now seeing, is going to be the rare next year, where it's going to be Liberal, Labour or Tory, who can cut the most out of public spending for working people, the unemployed, those people on benefits. And just to say what will be happening very shortly to working people, from January the 1st, back to go up by 2.5%. From April 2011, national insurance will go up by 1%. And they the only right around to be whether the income tax is going to go up by 1 pence or 2 pence in the bank. Now, I'm going to say, I would be quite happy to have a programme from a political party that's prepared to put income tax up. If it said it's going to build homes, build hospitals, build schools, build old people's homes. But they're raising this money to pay the money back which they give out to the bankers. So if they can raise all this money to give out to the bankers, then why can't we have alternatives up there to say we'll raise the money but we'll distribute it for the things we want here for people's job? You don't need a, a meeting in a town hall or a meeting in the village hall, but it just means people knocking on doors and asking people, do you know what the People's Charter is? And we're asking you to sign up for it. Because it's a two-way process. It's not just about emailing people all the time. I'm very careful in this country, you know, five years' time, we've been on so many emails, uh, so many websites, so many diggers, so many blogs, so many Facebooks, that you won't need to take it for anything, we won't speak to anyone, and we won't speak to people electronically. Uh, in the future, in great care. What happens to the two-way process? When you go out there and you put your points of view over to people, and other people give their points of view back to you, and you have a debate about what those really politics should be. I think we should <coughs> rejuvenate ourselves to get a million signatures. You know, uh, if we want a mass, mass uh, change in society, then we've got to get people engaged about what that people's charge stands for. I've got to say we've got people that are in the Labour Party, people that's not in the Labour Party, and what we need to do is build some union because we are going to be faced with a stark choice within the next four to five months. The stark choice is going to be 
that the three main political parties out there, Liberal, Tories and Labour, all support privatisation, all support anti-trade union laws, and all support the legal wars around the world. And what we're really being told, actually, is, well, if you get the Tories in, they may ban strikes. Well, I'll tell you what, under this government now, it's never possible to go on strike anyway. And brothers and sisters, what's going to basically happen is that people are start putting heart strings uh, as we go into this next general election. And certain unions will be going around and saying, the same old story, well, surely it's better to have labour in than it is the Tories. The reality is, people will do what they want to do with the charter. The charter ain't a political party. But if people want to stand in elections and use that charter as their manifesto, there's no copyright on it. And if people want to use those issues, they're issues that are used in the working class areas concerned. And the issue is pretty clear as I see it, is that either we're going to keep on going down the same old road as saying that there's nothing else we can do with that labour in because it's a little bit better than what it's always done. This is my personal, my personal view, as I'm going in front of our executive yet. Uh, this week, uh, but I will be supporting uh, that we support uh, uh, Alliance candidates at the next general election. I think we should stand against all these cabinet ministers. Thank you. 